<laughs> so, hello, 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 everybody, and it's smudge time. Okay, so we're doing our weekly weekend energy forecast and it's doing a smudging. I hope everybody's doing phenomenally fantastic. Okay. Kind of crunch that out a little bit because, you know, sometimes they'll sit there and smolder and smolder and smolder. Not that I mind it because I actually like the smudge and the sage smell and etc. But, um, you know, they always accuse me of smoking pot in the building when I'm smudging. I'm like, really? <sighs> anyway, it's a Friday and we are using my boyfriend deck. Oh, where is the box? Hold on. Um, Kyle Gray, he's not really my boyfriend, but my boyfriend is one of these cards. Um, we're using Kyle Gray. It's the Angels and Ancestors Oracle deck. The one with the chick with the... Uh, uh, owl and the crow and the raven and all that kind of cool stuff on there. Um, I love this deck. It's one of my favorite decks. And the guy that's the trader, T-R-A-D-E-R, -E not trader as in Benedict Arnold, um, he's my boyfriend. So if I was going to cheat on Katox, if I was going to cheat on Katox, which y'all know I don't, I would cheat on him with the trader boy. But just don't tell him I said that. No, you can tell him I said that. He might watch this and should. He could be watching right now. But anyway, um, I love that card. I don't know. that Every time I get that card, I'm just like, ah. Oh. So I figured he must be my boyfriend from another lifetime. But anyway, we are using the Angels and Ancestors deck. It is a Friday morning. Um, well, it's coming up on 11 o'clock. I think my clocks are a little bit off, but it's around ish to 11. Um, so that means that might be your lunch break if you're working the early shift. Might be your coffee break or your tea break or your smoke break or toke break or whatever break if you're working, um, you know, like the regular nine to five, you know, like before you go to lunch type thing. So, oh, there goes one. So what we're looking at is the weekend energy forecast and what do you have cooking for this weekend? I have a Reiki 2 class. I have a Ionic Foot Detox early in the morning tomorrow, and that's Saturday. Then at noon, we have the um, Reiki 2 class. That's the second degree. Uh, and then on Sunday, we have Reiki healing in the morning at 8 o'clock. Oh. And then we have um, at, um, I want to say... It's either 12 or 1. I can't remember. Um, on Sunday, we have Reiki, first degree. That's CPR for the soul class. So uh, one of those um, good classes, I think everybody should take CPR, whether it be for the soul or the cardiac, you know, or like my heart stopped or um, I'm not breathing CPR. I think everybody should have some kind of training like that. I think it's a good idea. But anyway, so um, that's what we have going on this weekend. Next week, I've got um, a book uh, swap on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. And we've got some other things cooking up with that as well. Okay, all right. So our cards fell. Give me just a second to reach down there and pick them up. Um, we have one, two, three, four... We have a total of um, five cards. Yeah, five cards. We're playing five card stud. Now we've got five cards today. Um, the energy coming in this weekend, all right, we're getting, and I'm going to say it like this, we're getting close to the election. And the election is a really big energy. And we're talking about like globally. It's not just in the United States that we're looking at. It is a global effect. And so right now, um, that energy is a little bit on the side. So um, the first card just doesn't surprise me. So let's take a look at it. 
All right, so it's like, what's the energy that's blowing in? And we're looking at the warrior card. And we can see he's got his um, staff or he's got his spear. It's got some pretty cool engraved stuff in there. He's got um, the tattooing or the painting um, on the face, which a lot of time tells you we're going into some serious stuff, some serious um, activity being a lot of deep discernment. So it's warrior mode and it's talking about be fearless and stand strong. Um, I want to look at this card when I'm looking at this card and it's like chances favoring a prepared mind. Um, get, you know, be aware, be aware, pay attention to what's going on in you and go pay attention to what's going on around you. Um, it doesn't hurt to read the headlines. It doesn't mean you have to get, doesn't mean you have to get immersed inside that news story, but start paying attention to, to news lines because there's a lot of information out there about what's going on. And when people feel fearful, they're going to um, sometimes make um, silly mistakes. So this is about getting your warrior um, thought process on. Be fearless, stand strong, be prepared. But doesn't mean that you're going to go and attack. It just means be prepared. That's all it's indicating. All right. So um, I like this. I like this card um, coming in, especially after that warrior card. Because this is what's kind of telling me is like, oh, I probably am not going to be um, using my spear. It's a good idea to have my spear ready. But guess what? Um, we're still on this level where we can appeal to each other on common ground. And so Mother Earth is saying, find something, find this, you know, find something that connects you with the next person or something that connects you with each scenario that you're faced with this weekend. There's something that everybody has in common and, and we'll just start from the very beginning of it. What do we all have in common? We all have in common that we're here on this planet. And if you look at it from that aspect, it will enable us to um, make better choices and have deeper discernment in what's going on around us. Okay, normally I would look at that as, the, you know, this card would be my obstacle card, um, but it's not coming up as an obstacle. Um, it's, it's more of that challenge, and sometimes I think, um, I'm gonna laugh, sometimes trying to find common ground with other people is the greatest challenge ever. Especially when you have a thought process that is in one direction and they're in a different direction and we have a hard time communicating that or finding common ground. So I guess I can look at Mother Earth um, and whoops, Mother Earth and finding common ground can be an obstacle because a lot of times we think that we're the one that's right and others are wrong. And so when we find common ground, then we're not really saying who's right or who's wrong. We're looking at something that we can both agree on. Okay, so that is that obstacle is finding something that everybody can agree on. Whether it be what we're going to have for dinner or what movie we're going to watch on Netflix. Hey, find some common ground. <clears throat> All right, and so um, the next card that's coming up talks about our help or our assistance. And I'm like, really? Okay, so you give me like hug a tree, find common ground for my challenge, but my assistance, if it was up in this other position like this, I would say, oh, you know what? You don't have to make any choices, any decisions at all because that answer is just going to fall from the sky or land right in your lap. Oh no, that's not what the card is saying. The energy that's saying in here is, is yeah, you're going to have to be accountable and responsible for the choices mm -hmm. that you're going to be making. You cannot sit back. You cannot sit back and expect the universe to hand you the answer or the end result that you're looking for. 
you're going to have to put your elbow grease and your thought process into it in order to make it to work. Now, I like this because it was like, okay, so this is kind of like what else is playing in through here. Uh, and we have the sage, and the sage is about being devoted, being committed. Um, a sage is like that ultimate role model that we have. And in here, it's who is your role model, and or what are your goals that you would expect from a role model? I mean, sometimes we don't have mentors, and we're looking to fill that space and it doesn't always have to be somebody physical it can be principles or philosophies that you're practicing or that you believe in and so if you don't have that mentor because this is kind of talking about being connected and reaching out to your mentors what philosophies what beliefs do you hold and are you being committed and honest and filled with integrity when you are working within your goals or working with your mentor you know if you're feeling in a low vibe let your mentor know hey i'm in a low vibe and then together you guys can work on a plan or work on you know ceremony if you even want to go that far in order to bring that vibration up and help you feel your confidence and in, in feeling committed to what your path is and then if you don't have a mentor have you taken a sabbatical have you taken a break have you disconnected and just kind of like maybe go out and go on a hike um, for the day or do a primitive camping for a couple of days I don't like cold weather so you won't see me doing that this time of year but you know hey I might go to California not California I might go to Florida and go out there and, and you know hang out on the beach and take a sabbatical treat yourself to some peace and help that energy kind of bring you back into a sense of oneness on that so that sage um, that energy is talking about being devoted, being committed, connecting in with your mentor. If you don't have a mentor, take a sabbatical and treat yourself. And when I mean treat yourself, it means to treat yourself, body, mind, and spirit. Okay, let's take a look at the next card. Okay, because we're... Uh, okay, this is going to be our last card. And I'm like, oh my gosh. Okay. I'm like, this kind of bums me out just a little bit because, you know, when I look at Stargazer and I think about Stargazer, I think about how we're achieving goals and we're reaching goals and we're accomplishing things in our life that we've, you know, set up to, a, you know, like, hey, I want to do this by the, t you know, within five years or whatever. And we reach out there and we get that and we experience that. Um, and then we set another goal and we usually set it up a little bit higher and then a little higher and then a little higher. And um, the end result here is is about, and I'm laughing because um, <laughs> I'm getting this reassurance, you're not a loser. You're not a loser. You're a good person. Y'all do good things and you're focusing on good things. But, but, sometimes our goals are a little bit unrealistic. And so, what we're getting through here, when we're seeing that card in a reverse position with the other cards, it's asking you to stop and reevaluate what your goals have been or what you have set down for your goals. Because sometimes we set very unrealistic goals and we do not get those things accomplished that we wanted to get accomplished. And then we become very frustrated with who we are and where we're going. So interesting reading because it's talking about being, being, you know, ready, being prepared like a good Boy Scout, good Girl Scout. Um, there's a lot of um, funky energy that's around us. But we can work through these things, um, put ourselves into alignment. If we are not feeling in alignment, 
we need to reach out to our mentor or reach out and do a sabbatical and that means you know working with your spirit guides whatever through there and then also that final thing is you know it's probably a good weekend to reevaluate what your goals are are you realistic and are you being true to yourself hmm. food for thought so peace love and harmony i hope to see you all very soon